the last 18 months, the National Cybersecurity Center has seen the rise of several Russian-aligned groups sympathetic to Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Now, these are fringe state threats, the cyber equivalent of the Wagner Group. And initially, those groups focused their attacks on Ukraine and the surrounding region. But recently, they have begun to turn their attention to the United Kingdom and its allies. They are now seeking opportunities to compromise our critical national infrastructure. We have experienced attempted attacks in the past, but these groups operate differently. Instead of seeking to profit or spy on us, their primary motive is to disrupt or destroy our infrastructure. These adversaries are ideologically motivated rather than financially motivated. Disclosing this threat is not something we do lightly. This is an unprecedented warning for business. We have never publicly highlighted the threat from these kinds of groups attempting such attacks before. And I should stress that we do not think that they currently have the capability to cause widespread damage to our infrastructure in the United Kingdom. But we do believe it is necessary at this point of time, if we want companies to understand the threat they currently face and to take action to defend themselves and the country against such attacks, this approach fits with that wider national security strategy. Last year, when we saw that Russian forces were gathering at the Ukrainian border, we declassified the information to let the world see what they were doing. Today, with cyber threats, you will increasingly see us say what we are seeing. We won't allow these groups to stay in the shadows. We're shining a light on these threats because we need to work together to strengthen our defenses. So today, I can confirm that I will be setting specific and ambitious cyber resilience targets for all critical national infrastructure sectors to meet by 2025, and that I'm actively examining plans to bring all private sector businesses working in critical national infrastructure within the scope of cyber resilience regulations.